Oh, hey there. Since I got you, I have a question for you. Are you a big game hunter or do you want to be? Have you ever come out on a guided elk hunt or a deer hunt out west here? Well, if you ever have considered this, this is the perfect video for you. My name is Logan Taylor. I'm from Guide Time. We're going to do another tips and tactics video today. I'm going to do a complete bag dump of all the gear that I use while in the field and kind of give you an idea of why it's a good idea to have and what is a good idea to have. So without further ado, let's get after it. Look out for the hand. All right, to start off, Let's get going on some technical gear. I've briefly talked about it in the blog. It's really important to have clothing and gear that's gonna help you stay out in the elements and protect you from it. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start with this first layer. Usually I don't wear a t-shirt under it like I am right now, but this layer is really good at wicking your sweat away from your body. Um, it dries really fast. My next layer is this mid layer. This is the heavyweight hoodie from Sitka. Um, it is super warm, super lightweight. And another thing that I really love about it is a hood. You can never go wrong with a hood. I never carry a bean anymore because of this hood. It's tight to my head and look how far I can zip it up. I can zip it all the way up. It's just like a face mask in those cold and windy situations. It keeps me so warm. This is basically my outer layer for most hunts, all the way through archery season, a lot of rifle season, depending on the weather and depending on when the snow decides to come here in Montana. The next thing that I like to have in my pack is a insulation layer. This is just a cheap little puffy down jacket. It's super light and it is so warm layer that I use on the outside is a protecting layer. This is Sitka's Jet Stream Jacket. It's water resistant. It is not a rain jacket. I used to carry a rain jacket around everywhere um, for rain gear or whatever, but this really does the trick. It keeps the wind off of me and is water resistant enough to where even when it's sopping wet out, I really don't get wet. It keeps me dry. Pants system that I really like are Sitka's Timberline pants. Let me just jump right into them and show you exactly what I mean. See? They are pretty dang amazing. They've got these knee pads that are reinforced to help for any crawling situation. They are water resistant material and they also are pretty good at keeping the wind away. They are also breathe enough to where I can use them in the hot archery months as well as the rifle hunts. Well, they also have a reinforced uh, rear end. They are some of the most comfortable pants you'll ever wear. Next thing we want to talk about is vinyl harness from Sitka. Their mountain optics harness is the absolute best. Quick, easy access to your binoculars wind checker, pockets on either side. They have these pouches that are very uh, changed and adaptable. You can take these off. I hold a rangefinder in this one and a uh, battery pack for my phone in this one so that it doesn't die because I rely on all these maps and I got the as well. There's a back pocket here. I usually put calls in here. Probably my most favorite and the item the next important thing is footwear. These are my footwear for basically all of your ride, um, except for if I'm doing a sitting home during the cold winter months. Or if it's just freezing cold, I will wear these insulated boots. A good pair of leather boots, they're gonna last you forever. Make sure you break them in before you go on your hunt. Another thing that you can use to protect your feet are gaiters. 
And I've become a really big believer in gators. These are some Kuyu gators. They're their smallest ones. Um, I like to wear a small pair during archery season and a bigger pair that go up to your calf during the winter months of trekking through the snow. Not only does it keep your feet dry from the elements and from water, it also protects them from getting anything inside your boots and you getting sores or blisters from parts of the woods in your boots as you walk into the Another thing is gloves. These aren't anything special. Make sure you have something that's warm enough. Moving on to the weapons. Here's my bow. Make sure you are proficient with your weapons, whether it's your bow or it is your firearm that you're going to bring on your hunting trip. And last but not least, let's go take a look into my pack. I have a Badlands 220, I believe. The biggest thing is you want to have a pack with a frame in it so that you can come out of the woods heavy. Another thing that I have in here during the rifle season, an orange vest and an orange hat. Make sure you check the regulations just in general for this area so that you can keep yourself accountable and make sure that you are totally legal when you're on your trip. Next thing, super important, is your kill kit. In here I have game bags. They're washable game bags. The other thing is a knife, a good strong knife and a sharpener that's gonna keep you moving when you're processing the game. Water is a big deal. You're gonna want to have some sort of a water bottle. I like these, just reuse these ones. And they are as light as they can be and it's basically just a water bottle. I also have a little survival pack. It's got an emergency blanket, a compass, a uh, means of making fire, um, some rope in there, it's extra batteries for my headlamp, which I'll show you. Headlamp, very important. When you're working on an animal in the dark, it's important to have a good headlamp that you can trust. In this top pocket, I have the most important item you're going to need. That is toilet paper. You never know when nature's going to call when you're out in the woods. Trust me, you do not want to use leaves. Another thing is snacks. Something with protein that's just going to give you energy throughout the day and help you to keep going. Another thing is electrical tape. Kind of running out, but it's very important during the rifle season. I like to put it on top of my barrel so that I'm making sure I'm not jamming it into dirt and stuff and getting gunk and junk inside of my barrel. So I'll put it on the end and I'll just shoot through it. It doesn't seem to affect the shot at all. Another use for it is um, tying your tags onto the game after you harvest it. And really, that is about it. So there you have it. There is my complete bag dump of all the gear that I take when I'm hunting. It is very current. I didn't set it up at all. That's exactly what's in my bag right now. It is hunting season as we speak. And that's what I bring, that's what I use. All this gear is super important. The most important thing to, to note is you want to have good light gear. You don't wanna have more than you need. A lot of times people make that mistake when they come out on their first hunt and they have more gear than they need. They're carrying way too much weight and it just leaves them less mobile when they're out hunting. Uh, thank you for watching. It's been fun to make this video. Watch for some more, like and subscribe, um, and go make sure to check out Guide Time. We now have hunting outfitters, and we're gonna get more. So book through us for your next trip, and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.